What's going on baseball fans? How are we doing? So this guy is doing really good this year. So in this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why Jacob deGrom could win the MVP this year. Let's go talk about it. Before I get started, hit that subscribe button, the like button, the bell button, hit all the buttons that I'm not thinking about. Before I get to the numbers, I just wanted to point this out really quick. Jacob deGrom did start last night, and he did leave with an elbow issue. But as of right now, the Mets are saying that the level of concern is not too high. Jacob deGrom said himself he plans on making his next start with just a little bit more extra treatment throughout the week. Let's get to these numbers real quick from Jacob deGrom. I mean, these numbers are just off the charts. 10 starts, 64 innings on the year so far. He is on pace to set the all-time ERA record, a 0.56 ERA. That is just stupid. Uh, the FIP 0.91 are you kidding me already a 3.7 wins above replacement that's just nuts if you take a look at the strikeouts per nine he has over 14 strikeouts per nine that is just silly as of right now he leads all in all of Major League Baseball in strikeouts per nine by a mile I mean that is just nuts as of right now if we take a look at the walks per nine Jacob deGrom is leading in that as well. So he's leading in strikeouts. He's leading in walks. And if we take a look at the home runs per nine, um, he's doing very well there as well. He ranks third in home runs per nine. Uh, Jacob deGrom, he is just having a silly year. These are just, I mean, godlike numbers from Jacob deGrom. So that's definitely, obviously, one reason why he could win the MVP this year. So the last picture to win an MVP award was Clayton Kershaw back in 2014. And as of right now, Jacob deGrom is doing better than Clayton Kershaw did that season. If we take a look, Kershaw, he did lead Major League Baseball in strikeouts per nine. But if we go take a look at the walks per nine, which is what Jacob deGrom is leading in now, Clayton Kershaw, he only ranked seventh that year, which is really good. But hey, deGrom is leading in walks per nine right now, while Kershaw ranked seventh and he won the MVP that year. And if we go take a look at home runs per nine, which Jacob deGrom is currently third in, Clayton Kershaw that year, uh, he ranked also third. So as of right now, Jacob deGrom, the fact that he is leading in strikeouts per nine, just like Kershaw did in 2014, he's doing way better in the walks department than Kershaw did. And he's on the same pace ranking wise with home runs per nine. So Jacob deGrom, hey, he's doing some similar stuff to what Clayton Kershaw did in 2014. So last but not least, Jacob deGrom is leading all of the National League and wins above replacement according to Fangraphs with a 3.7. The next guy is Nick Castellanos, who is having a really good year, hitting 362 on the year, a 419 on base, a 638 slugging, 13 homers, 35 RBIs. Nick Castellanos is going off this year at the plate. You got guys like Ronald Acuna Jr. who's having a really good year, 18 home runs, a 39 RBIs. 393 on base, a 608 slugging. Ronald Acuna Jr. was my pick for the MVP. Um, he's having a very good year, but as of right now, Jacob deGrom is leading him in wins above, uh, wins above replacement. You got guys like Max Muncy, Chris Bryant. So as of right now, Jacob deGrom, he is building a very strong case against these guys. Granted, it's only June. We have a long way to go. You never know what could happen. But as of right now, Jacob deGrom has a better wins above replacement than the, the next guys up, like Nick Castellanos, Ronald Acuna Jr. So I think if Jacob deGrom, if he can stay on the pace that he's on for the rest of the season, stay injury-free, I really think when you compare it to these guys, while they are having really good seasons, Jacob deGrom... I mean, it's just, as of right now, it's just, he's just having a better season than these guys. And one last thing to note, if we take a look at the projections on fan graphs, as of right now, the Zips projections have Jacob deGrom finishing with a 7.2 wins above replacement, and Ronald Acuna Jr., they have him finishing at a 7.7. .7. So very close there. However, if I go take a look at the Steamer projections, they have him, uh, they have Ronald Acuna Jr. finishing at a 7.2, while they have Jacob deGrom finishing at an 8.4. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the rest of this season goes uh, with these guys in the National League. So those are my reasons why I think Jacob deGrom has a realistic shot at winning the MVP this year. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. Do you think he can win the MVP? Do you think he will win the MVP? Let me know down below in the comments, but that's all I have right now. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.